Hi, Moral Recap here. Today I'm going to explain about a Hindi action thriller film called Gajini. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. In the library of a medical lab, Sunita is looking for a file. She takes that file to her professor and says she wants this case to be her project. The professor says she can't pick that case because it is also an open police case. Sunita presses him a bit more, but the professor is not going to change his mind. Sunita asks him about the man that is depicted in the files, and the professor shares his story. He says the man's name is Sanjay, and he was hit in the head. His memory is problematic and solely works in short term, only remembering stuff that happened around 15 minutes ago. Sunita wonders how this man is able to live his life, and the professor says he can perform simple tasks out of habit and also take notes to keep track of events. Sunita wonders what this man is doing right now, and the film shows a Sanjay, roughing up a thug. He beats him around and eventually kills him. An alarm beeps in his jacket and takes his notepad out. He steals the thug's phone and finds the contact, Gajini, included in it. He remembers some fragments of his past and cross-checks some facts. He makes a new note and an alarm on his phone, writing, Kill Gajini. Sanjay returns in a large apartment which is full of notes, indicating that this is the place he stays in. On a wall, there are dozens of notes and clues, all of which lead to find Gajini, kill Gajini. When he goes to the bathroom, he sees a note which instructs him to remove his shirt. He does so, and he sees that his body is also full of tattooed notes. One note across his chest reads, Kalpana was killed, and that brings some short moments back into his memory. A short montage presents the painful mental and physical process he goes through each time he gets to see those notes, usually resulting into him collapsing on the floor. Sunita accidentally stumbles upon Sanjay and recognizes him from the patient's file she saw earlier. She talks to him and asks for two minutes of his time. She asks him some questions about himself and the hit he has received in his head, but Sanjay doesn't want to reveal much. Sunita tells him to take a picture of her and write on it that she's his friend, so that he can remember her. Sanjay does so and walks away. A police agent, Arjun, has followed Sanjay back to his house and sneaks on him from behind, hitting him with a bat. He restrains Sanjay and then looks around his house. In a drawer, he finds a notebook and sees an old picture of Sanjay. Arjun seems like he recognizes Sanjay and the film cuts back to Sanjay's past. Sanjay lands with a private plane and he actually used to be a successful and ambitious businessman whose goal was to make his company the largest cell phone company in India. The backstory also shows us how Sanjay and Kalpana met. In the beginning, there was a huge misunderstanding and everyone thought Kalpana was dating Sanjay. Kalpana started getting more and more attention due to her hypothetical boyfriend and she used that in her advantage. She got promoted from a supporting actor to a protagonist and she even became a casting director. When Sanjay learned about what the news were saying about him and his fake girlfriend, he paid Kalpana a visit. Kalpana has no idea who Sanjay is and she thinks he's an actor who just came to join her casting. One day, Kalpana's boss tells her that he's going to host a party and he invited her boyfriend over. Kalpana is very worried about it because she thinks the real Sanjay will find out about her lies. She hires an actor to play Sanjay and accompany her at the party, but he's not quite good. When Sanjay comes at her place, he says he will help her and will pretend to be Sanjay. At the party, Kalpana is waiting for him. Sanjay joins the party and everyone welcomes him warmly. Kalpana thinks that he's a good actor and he just convinced everyone to think he is Sanjay, even though everybody else knows that this is the real Sanjay. The dinner goes well, and Sanjay even uses his paycheck to give some money for charity. Later on the bus, Kalpana laughs to herself and says she must be living in a world full of fools because everybody believed he is Sanjay. Sanjay tells her he loves her and he wants to marry her, and Kalpana says she wants to think about it till tomorrow. When he's left alone, Sanjay says he's just an ordinary guy in Kalpana's eyes and he wants to keep it that way. After that, the film cuts back to Arjun finishes reading Sanjay's journal. Arjun is very eager to learn the rest of the story and finds another notebook, but Sanjay wakes up and serves him a good beating. A reminder beeps on his phone, and he remembers that he needs to find Gajini. Sanjay attends a college celebration and sits among the crowd. 
The announcer says that the college's patron, Mr. Gagini, has arrived. Sanjay turns around to take a look at him. He gets up and takes a couple of pictures of him and writes his name under them. Sanjay walks down to the parking lot and calls Gagini, trying to lure him out. Gagini gives his phone to one of his men and tells him to find out who this is. His guard goes down to the parking lot and Sanjay challenges him. The guard attacks him but he's no trouble for Sanjay, who handles him easily and knocks him out. Gagini and his men start shooting at Sanjay and he has to run. Gagini asks his guard who that guy was and the guard says something about two years ago. But he dies before he can share more information. The next day, Sunita visits Sanjay's apartment and the door is open. She walks in and finds Arjun tied up. She frees him and Arjun tells her Sanjay is a murderer. Sanjay returns home and finds them. Arjun tries to run and Sanjay hunts him down. On his attempt to escape, Arjun is killed in an accident. Sanjay runs after Sunita next, but she manages to escape. Sunita visits Gajini and tells him about Sanjay and that he's planning to kill him. She even gives him Sanjay's file, making it easy for Gajini to get to him. However, when Sunita returns back in her apartment, she remembers that Sanjay is carrying her picture with him. So if the police arrest him, they will think she's his accomplice. She calls Gajini to ask him to take her picture when he gets to Sanjay, but she doesn't realize that she's actually speaking to Sanjay, who has broken into Gajini's house in order to kill him. Sanjay runs to her apartment and tries to attack Sunita, but the police gets in the way and they arrest him. Right next, Sunita remembers that she has stolen two notebooks from Sanjay's apartment. She opens the first one and reads right through it. She then opens the second one and the film takes us to yet another backstory which continues where the previous left. We see that Kapana says yes to Sanjay's proposal and they intend to get married. She tells him she loves him and Sanjay continues keeping his real identity secret. When we return back to the present, Sunita changes her mind about Sanjay and thinks there is something more to his story. She starts doing her own research. Meanwhile, the police sees Gajini's phone number tattooed in Sanjay's body and they call him. Gajini visits the police station and lies by saying Sanjay is an old friend of his and he must have written his number to honor their friendship and remember him. Gajini takes Sanjay back home and decides not to kill him, but instead makes his life a living hell. He and his men destroy his house and takes away all of his notes. They even cover the tattoos on his torso. While researching, Sunita realizes that Sanjay's girlfriend had had something to do with Gajini. A few years back, she saved a group of girls from falling victims of human trafficking. But when she visited the girls to a facility to make sure they're fine, she realized that the two of those girls went missing. That's when she meets Gajini, who admits he's the one who killed those girls because they pointed the authorities at him. When Kalpano returns home, Gajini has to shut her mouth once and for all and he sends his men to do the job. While Kalpana is hiding, Sanjay visits her and realizes something is off. He runs into the apartment and finds Kalpana. She has been stabbed in the back and falls into Sanjay's arms, whispering the name Gajini. At the moment, Gajini and his men come into the apartment and attack Sanjay. They beat him up pretty good and they kill Kalpana. They leave both of them for dead. When Sanjay regains his senses, Sunita knows that Sanjay is a good man who is looking to avenge his wife. She visits him in the hospital and gives him his notebooks. Sanjay reviews them while Sunita helps him remember what's happening and what his goal is. She helps him further and takes him to Gajini. Sanjay can't remember who he is and Sunita tells him it is the man in white clothes. Sanjay goes after Gajini and his group. He has to get past his men first and he does so pretty easily, beating all of them without breaking a sweat. Eventually, he gets to Gajini and kicks him around. Gajini gets a moment to escape and Sanjay runs after him. Gajini's men try to help their boss and hold Sanjay back, but that's a difficult thing to ask for. Sanjay is quite strong and beats all of them up, letting them lie on the ground. However, Gajini has found the perfect moment to run away. Moments later, Sanjay gets to him and stares at Gajini. Gajini stares back at Sanjay and realizes that he has no idea who he's looking for. Gajini pretends he's Sanjay's friend and tells him that he came up here to help him find Gajini. Their common enemy is the one who beat him up. Sanjay buys the lie and looks through a long hallway for Gajini. Gajini gets the perfect opportunity to make his move. He grabs a metal rod and stabs it through Sanjay's torso. Sunita runs near them and tries to help Sanjay, 
Gijini knocks her down. Sanjay tries to get up, but he's out of energy. Gijini kicks him back into the ground every time. Gijini takes the time to feel proud of himself and tells Sanjay he is the one he has been looking for. He's the one that Sanjay wanted to kill, but he's not going to achieve that after all. He says he's also going to kill Sunita, just like he did with Kapana. He will kill her in front of his eyes. Gajini is getting ready to strike Sunita, but Sanjay sums up all the strength he has left to take the rod out of his body and throw it at Gajini. He runs at Gajini, beats him, and kills him. His revenge is finally due. The film ends at a birthday party, where a bunch of kids are singing happy birthday to Sanjay. Sunita gives him a present, which is an item that reminds him of the love he shared with Kapana. Subscribe and hit the like button to help our channel grow. Turn the notifications on so you won't miss any of our new videos. Thanks for watching!